All right, so this is my little big brother, Eric, here. Yes, sir. Eric, where are you from? How old are you? Uh, I'm from Newport News, Virginia, and I'm 28 years old. All right, so tell me about your truck here, man. All right, it's a 94 Kenworth W900L. Got a 34 6 c model, as you can see. Everything you can do to this engine has been done. Steel pistons, everything. She dyno at 700 plus to the ground. I put a bigger Borg Warner turbo on it. Never had a problem with it, no issues, I mean. Besides, had a change in the uh, manifold bolts and stuff like that. Other than that, been yeah. good. So uh, where are you haul with the truck? Where do you haul, stuff like that? All over. Uh, you might find me in Utah somewhere, or I, all the way to Florida. Uh, I didn't go to Maine with this truck yet. That's your thing. Yeah. I did go to Maine. You gonna come with me though? Yeah, I will. We done been to Mass though. Yeah, we in Massachusetts with it. But nah, man. But uh, eventually I'll get over there, but I, I plan on taking a trip one of these days before it get too cold out to California with it. Uh, I guess they're having a truck show out there. Um, yeah, the trucking for kids. Yeah, trucking it? for kids. That, yeah, I forgot when yeah, that Yeah, I plan on being there. Yeah. But yeah, I go anywhere as long as it's paying. Oh yeah, we there. You know what? So uh, what? kind of other stuff you want to talk about on the truck was you done to it well i know this truck came from somebody from your area that you knew and you kind of trying to make it your own and all that stuff like that yes so. sir first they had them big seven inch pipes the bull haulers which and i'm not a fan of them but the truck is, is in good shape man like you know guys said they wouldn't do nothing they wouldn't change a thing of course when you get somebody else truck that's known you want to be like i guess you get kind of tired of people coming up to you hey this used to be somebody's truck yeah. nah so I just make it my own, you know, put the pipes on six inches, polished it up real good, you know, and uh, move the half fenders right there, move them back to the, uh, so it can hug the tire and uh, put the lights at the bottom of them, the little glass lenses. I got a whole bunch of more stuff that I need to put on the truck, but I just didn't get around to it. New grill, uh, take the visor off and change it. Uh, either go with an RLK or something, some, something simple, yeah. small. You know, and I'm actually looking at another arrow down bump because this if you, this sleeper has one sleeper door, you know, it don't have two, so it's kind of rare. You don't, I I never seen one with only one sleeper door. On you the don't side. seen a, you ain't never seen three door one. You nah, one nah, door. I never seen a three door, but I seen four. You know, so uh, I got plans for the winter. You know, to shut it down and I got to cut off and want to stretch it. Heck yeah, man, it's a pretty truck. It's still running every day, keep it nice. You know, trying to come to shows with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know me. If you know me, you know I keep things clean. I'm like this every day, 365, you know? Because you started out with that prime truck? Yes, I was a prime driver. <laughs> Tell anybody, it don't matter where you start at. Hey, it don't matter where you start at, man. It's about where you're going, you know? And when I did my thing at Prime, man, they knew. I did my thing with the Prime. Yeah. They knew it. Yeah. I, I used to get stopped in uh, Oak Grove. They'll stop and take pictures of it because it was so clean. Yeah. And guys stop and holler at me on the radio. I never see a prime truck that clean. Well, you have it. I did it. You know. Well, if you yeah. got a mindset, you know, you can always grow. You know, if you, if you, if you know, you, you ain't got to stay in that one spot. You know, don't ever get too comfortable where you at. You know. And some people talk bad about being an owner operator or whatever. I'm at least doing the captain trucking. Of course, I can get my own authority, but I mean, it's, they treat you good. They while treat me good. They ain't got to. Yeah. Like I said I know you for since 2015 roughly and you always had everything clean and nice and done your own thing. Yes sir, you know. Yeah. Tell everybody we got matching trucks. We both got L models, we both got 9370s. Yes sir. That we dump both. truck. Y'all probably done seen this dump truck. Yes you did. The burgundy dump truck was blue. You built that up from nothing. So that came from the woods. It was sent for like 10 years. So I know that when you really get started on this, you gonna have this thing right, man. Man, yeah, so. but I still love my dump truck more than this one though. I love this is nice. This is a nice truck though, but it, but the corn binders is that's our thing. Remember we done that corn binder convoy right. with Chris at times. Oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, we did that, that, that was yeah. our first big rig videos, and here we are doing this right here. So yeah. and at the nationals, enjoying a nice day. So uh, tell me what you like about well nationals. I know it's your first national, just like it's my first national. But what do you like about the ATHS shows, like Tri-State that you come to and stuff like that? What what makes them different from like all the other shows? It's judgment free, you know? And uh, the old school, man, it's just a whole bunch of characteristics to the trucks, man. It's not just everything, just, oh, we just pull out the barn and just go to the show, you know, and say it works, it don't really work. Everything has its history, has its story, you know? 
and the older crowds, man, I love the old heads. So I like to hear their story. I sit there all day, let them talk. You just you know, see what their, their experience from back in the day. Yep. We got the last little glimpse of the old school. The only thing we got to see was the JB Hunt 9800s. We seen the last, when the, the, when, when the, with, with the last with the old big company, the major companies to have the uh, uh, big cab overs and stuff like that, you know? Like, they was going out the door. Yep. They was, and then when I came up, they was talking about uh, 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 Arrow. They started talking about Arrow uh, dynamics and stuff and working for fuel, you know? That's where everything started changing, you know? And then, like I said, my grandfather told me, these trucks ain't gonna stay the same, man. They gonna change over time, you know, as they do. Yep. But every time you come here, you gonna learn something, believe that, man. You know? And like I said, it's just, it's fun, you know? Friendly. You know, you ain't gotta really deal with a whole bunch of drama. She was laid back, man. Who doesn't like that, you know? And the thing about it, you get to see trucks that you haven't seen before, or you see yep. trucks that, you know, that's no longer on the road, yep. you know? A lot it's of times rare stuff, with these man. shows like this, it, you could possibly see a truck here that you'll never see at any other show. It just come to, say, a national or something like that. So that's what I like about it. Yeah. A lot of trucks that you might see on Facebook, a lot of trucks that you might have seen in a like wheels of time or something and they finally come in and get to put eyes on them. but it's the cool. thing is how them guys travel so far just to come to this show california to virginia the truck i show. mean That's of crazy. course some guys you know the certified cone shop show i mean yeah they, they they travel there too but this is like a place to be at right yeah. here if you ain't here then you, you ain't here then you, you missed out they missed this out is a place to be this year so it's like 700 some plus trucks i think so it's it's wild man it's like, I feel like a little yeah. kid here. I'm sad this is the last one that's got to be over here in this area, but I, I got to travel now. You know, so that's think, all I it think is. It hopefully it keeps on rotating. I mean, it's coming, it's, it's, it's going to be it's in York, be PA while. or yep. something like that. Yeah, it's going to uh, Springfield. Next yeah, year, so. and yeah, I will go. I will travel to go to the oh, store. Yeah, Even it's if it's it. in the West Coast, man, I just, and see the different crowds and stuff. Like them boys, they came from California to come over here. Yep. You know how cool that is? Yep. For real. Only, only at ATHS Nationals will you see this stuff. And I oh, say, yeah, man. Appreciate you coming out, bringing the truck, man. Appreciate you doing the interview. So. Right, right. Appreciate it, man. Sorry. Yeah, you know what? <laughs>